So this is Griffith's Electrodynamics Problem 2.44. Um, very easy problem. Um, what we're doing is comparing the, um, the work done by electrostatic forces uh, to the energy lost by the electrostatic fields for the case of this parallel plate capacitor. I, I just put positive on one plate and negative on the other. And, and the plates are moving closer together by a distance of, of this epsilon. All right. Um, so uh, we're supposed to look at these two uh, different equations. One is electrostatic pressure, and the other one is energy density. And they have the same form. So this is, this is actually fairly easy problem. So the first uh, part we're going to look at the work done by the electrostatic forces. Alright, so uh, just looking at this first equation, I'm going to make a little box here to work in. Work is equal to, uh, let's write it as uh, force. Oh, excuse me, work is not a vector. Force is a vector, and then uh, the displacement, uh, which, let's just use dx. Anyway, uh, gee, easy problem, made a mess of it already. Here we go. Um, so work, uh, so we, we just need the force uh, by uh, this displacement dx. Um, in this case, the displacement is, uh, and the force are in the same direction, so uh, we can just, uh, we don't have to worry about the dot product, uh, we'll just get the full magnitude of the product, so just uh, the magnitude of the force multiplied by the, the magnitude of the displacement because they're in the same direction. So, <coughs> so what is this in the context of our problem? Well, the capacitor plates will have some area A and there, here's this electrostatic pressure, so force is going to be equal to the pressure multiplied by the area. And this uh, displacement is, uh, I guess, it, this epsilon is still small, but it's not infinitesimal like this uh, dx. The, the full displacement is epsilon. So here we go. Here is the, the work. the work done by these electrostatic forces. And, okay, so now we need to put it in terms of the field, right? So using this uh, pressure, now we, we plug it into, we plug this in for the pressure. All right, let's remind ourselves what we're solving for. This is the work. Um, I don't know the best way to write this, but let's put the A and this epsilon thing out front, and then we'll we'll throw in this pressure. So here's our permittivity free space, not to be confused with our other epsilon. We have this factor of two, and then we have this E squared. All right, which, you know, it could be sigma divided by, uh, divided by permittivity free space for, for a, a capacitor. Let's just write that in, why not? So we have A, we have our displacement epsilon, we have our two, um, and then uh, plugging in a, a sigma over uh, epsilon, uh, we get the sigma squared up at the top and one power of epsilon on the bottom because it's gonna cancel with this other one. All right, so we went into that a little bit more detail than maybe we needed to. Now let's look at the, the energy lost by the fields. So the energy density for these electrostatic fields is given by this equation right here, which looks suspiciously similar to this pressure. Um, so to find the total energy lost, we are going to just multiply the energy density by the volume. So uh, let me write out the energy density. 
from this equation. And now we'll multiply it by the volume. This is a volume, not a voltage. And uh, so this volume is just going to be, well, it's the area multiplied by the depth, or in this case, right? We're looking at this volume right in here. We want, which is the volume lost. Uh, we just want this epsilon multiplied by the area. Um, hey, this is going to look out. This is going to work out cool. So we have epsilon on over two. Uh, we have our our volume, which again was a, and then our displacement epsilon, and then we had our e squared. And look how that lined up. It, <laughs> um, here we have it's equal to this again. So we can just leave this equal sign. And how lovely. So yeah, the the point is that um, this can be viewed as an energy conservation. We have energy stored in the fields. That energy um, is uh, is uh, taken away, and and instead we have this this work which the pressure does, or which the uh, the electrostatic forces do on the plates. So we have this sort of stored energy in the field being turned into this work on the plates, or this the the. Uh, energy required to, to move the plate inward.